cultures, our language, whilst other cultures do not teach us theirs. Why do we do that? I have the answer, not. So I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Styles FM is the most listened radio network in Jamaica with over 140 countries with listeners that listen to us and that's coming from TuneIn. So all those radio networks that, are, that networks from Jamaica that are available on TuneIn Radio, Styles FM is the number one. None of the big names that you know are those who are overseas that have left Jamaica and you know the big names. No, they are not. Styles FM is, and I must thank you all for keep us where we are. So please tell a friend, as I said before, to tell a friend to tell a friend. Make that be your homework for next week. Tell someone that you know that's Jamaican or Caribbean about this radio station because we are the people's choice. Real talk. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night, and welcome to Real Talk. You look African, so. <laughs> oh, it's good to be with you. you look... And it's good to be with Aye. Ish. Oh, you look African, good to, so. Good, goodish to be with, with Ish. Aye. Daddy Rudish. Oh, you look African, <laughs> so. I've always been African. No, good night you, to you, you lovely ladies that. in Radio Land, and to all the good up, good up gentlemen out there. Yeah, if you're a real man, send me a text right now and say, Hey, Lady Cleo, this is so-and-so. And if they All don't? Right? If you know you're a good up, good up man, just text me, Hey, Lady Cleo, I'm so-and-so. And tell me one thing that makes you a good up, good up man. You hear? And no. It, now, now, now. And if they don't? Then I will draw the conclusion otherwise. <laughs> 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 good to see you, Cassidy. Love to you, my brother. Oh good Lord. to have it. Can you not get no troops? Oh, I'm good. Mwah. I'm good. No, 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 <laughs> Yo, Cass, all the roly roly in my head, man. See, you see the roly roly? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. I ain't not going to plug this here, though, because I can't take it anymore. Yeah. So, all the peeps. Oh, yeah, yeah, boat. Yes, it's all the roly roly. Like, you know. Because I have kinky hair. That's why. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, picky picky. No, 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 not picky picky. It's hey, kinky. You, you should have seen me since week. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never take a picture. <laughs> Finery up, up. Yes, all the people in St. Thomas right now locked into Styles FM. Uh, big ups to you, mommy, the crew, everybody. Last time I big up Gary and Murray and Shatta and everybody and Finery. Yeah, Finery, yes. And everybody else from all about in St. Thomas and Whitehall and them places there. Yeah, man, big up on yourself, family. All right. And of course, our friends over there in St. Mary. We want to pick you up as well for locking in and in all the time to Styles FM. We go all the way to St. Anne and we big up and load up our friends over there in St. Anne. And if you're watching on the World Wide Web, up to you as well, all right? And we also have friends in Portland, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, the home, the base of Styles FM. So all the Portlanders moving about, traveling to or from work, heading home, just chillaxing on the corners and the ends, and you have a radio nearby, or you have via the internet, yeah, you can check us out. So have you, no, you did not give them those numbers. So just before we go up on the 12, 9, 30, Lord Jesus, the 9, 30, we go with you from now until 12, but just before the 9.30 break, let me give you, because Daddy Roo did not give you, so let me give you um, those social media pages we're starting off with, Cassidy. Yes, man. So, of course, if it is that you want to see the live show tonight, I'm inviting my friends who do the World Wide Web to check us out on Facebook, Stars FM 96.1. And go to the fan page. And I know Kadrin, my friend Kadrin, is locked in or watching right now. Kamisha from Morant Bay High, 2006 batch. And the crew, big ups to all you guys. Yeah, Bertram 
Attorney at Law Bertram Anderson and the crew. Big ups, big ups. All right. Twitter fans, you can check us out at Styles FM 96, 961, that is. And of course, on Instagram, follow us at Styles FM. And on YouTube, you can check out whichever show you missed on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. So you have no excuse to not see all the shows. All right. And of course, we give you those local numbers, that local number. And the local number for a regular call or SMS or WhatsApp only, it's 876-453-1444. All right? So if it's your first time, welcome. Put that number in your phone and write Styles FM. All right? 876-453-1444. And the international number is 954 954- Three three eight seven nine seven three. That's nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. And let me say a bono nonus warm welcome to all our friends on the international stages who have ensured that from night after night and from time to time they do listen in to real talk. Yeah. So shout outs to you. And I have a minute before the break, so I want to give you those USA on the go numbers and the UK and Canada. USA, 712-832-2772. The UK, it's 033 That's correct? Ha <laughs> ha, I see. 033-0606-0944. And in Canada, you tricked me. It's 647-957-9637. Let me give you the UK one again. 033-0606. 0944. They love doubling up in the UK. I can I can see that. <laughs> Alright, so right in the nick of time, we're now on the 9:30 break. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Daddy Rude, Real Talk is sponsored by Nassau. Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We zoom forward. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Eight nine three two two six six. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Yo, this is Jati the Reggae Best. Join me alongside Jati Jr. right here on Styles FM each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Ska, Rock Steady, and oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the Reggae Ambassador Entertainment Show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Hold on. Welcome back to Real Talk. What, what, were, <laughs> what were you doing back there? Oh, I can't tell you. I gotta show you. And that the sounds so good, right? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Welcome it, back, guys, to doesn't. the show. Because to Celia Roper, to Shauna Brown, how you all doing? And of course, to all the great seven students of Teachfield High School, Port Antonio High, Fair Prospect, Happy Grove. Man, yeah, what those who I taught. Thomas? Oh, the one where you teach. So, yeah. like, so, so nobody where you teach now. No, 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 I'm picking them. I said grade seven, and then I said, and the one, okay, and the ones, especially the ones that I taught, or I would have taught last year. Were you trying to, to unnatural <clears throat> yourself? Excuse me? Were you trying to unnatural yourself? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> Is that what you were doing back there? No, I wasn't. Why are you spreading propaganda on me? By the way, I'm not talking to you about that. Where are the gentlemen who are supposed to be texting in? They don't exist. The real good up, good up men, them? No, they don't exist. Who know that they know how to treat a woman. No, they are. No, they no, no, know no. how to no, well, make a woman feel great. All the variables that you've added in it. Oh, please. Right? We don't all have all uh, of that no, no, in no, no, us. No, 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 I don't and say if you have and, all. And they're honest. So no, the sudden they simply didn't don't say, message in. Gentlemen, I'm not asking you to have it all. And how do you know they are gentle? Say plenty men. Plenty men. Yes. I'm not asking you to to have it all. I'm not you know expecting what? you to have it all. This is for I you. I, uh, forget about oh them. Oh my God, yes, it's forget, surprising. Yes, forget Here's about them. Here's one good up, good up man. Yes, so forget about them. So first of all, we have that. No, not Hold Daddy Road, UL Jackson. No, 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 no. Let me take off a price. Don't tell me you brought me a cologne and you know I love colognes. Let me take off a price. First. I don't Hold want on. to be liking you right now. No, you don't have to. <laughs> With a gift like that, I'm going to have it, to. It, 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 it's not a requirement. It's not a prerequisite. Leave the price alone. I know you're expensive, you know. No, that not means... Are cheap? No, that not means I'm going to buy it expensive. <laughs> okay, okay. Point taken. All right. Lady, to hear that. I'm still good up, good up still. I'm going to give it to him. Stop mm. fighting the price tag. No, I can't, I can't, because it's I guess It's all about the ching, cha ching, cha ching. It's mm. all about the price it's, tag. It's very important. Because... <laughs> If you see the price tag, I won't want it. No, if you see the name. Ooh, okay. la la, Cassidy, I'm gonna smell like Calvin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Cass? After she kiss you up, right? You're gonna smell like Calvin. Ooh, and Cassidy too. Uh oh. I'm gonna smell like Cassidy too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I like. So they. But they want one more for two because they want to have it finished. And it has finished. And it has been discontinued. So I, if it's practically finished, try not to make it totally finished because that one, mm -hmm. the dot. Yes, I yes. yes. It has been discontinued, so it's the pretty dot? much a collector's item. The dot. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. Oh wow. So you want Why the would dot they discontinue a lovely fragrance like the dot? Well, the dot was, what was it, Mark, Mark James? Some Mark. Jacob, somebody. no, no, Mark Jacobs. Yes. God, I love the dot. I love so. all his daisy stuff and Mark Jacobs colognes are nice. Yeah, anyways, Calvin is so nice. Maybe too. they still exist, but in and, terms and, of um, oh, look, uh, um, them making them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that's a pity. Right, Such so. a pity. I got to spray my, oh, this is, this, this reminds me of um, um, Mookie's show. Is it Mookie's show? Mookie's, Mookie's show smell like blossom. No, the name. Or is it Digital T? Digital, Digi digital, digital T. I'm sorry. Right. Digital T. Euphoria. Yes. Okay, so who do we have on the text line right now? Claude. And the Jamaican cruise in the Bahamas. Bless. Oh my, before I continue, how could I forget to acknowledge... Oh my God, this is nice. To acknowledge the persons in... The Bahamas. The Bahamas. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad you're okay, Claude, and all the other Jamaicans um, who might be living there. I pray and trust that you guys are okay. Those who have had, 
Ooh. Listen. Oh boy. Many of us say nothing so. Uh, yeah, so, 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 so surreal. In a film like this. Oh, 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 hurricane for those kickbacks for one hour, one mile per yeah, hour. Yeah, it's crazy. Those, those who know. God. I, I, and I'm going to give give um, people an example. There's a stretch of road in Savlamar that is called Great George Street. It is exactly oh one god. mile long. Oh my god. Right? Too many stories tonight. Oh gosh. And what happened now? Oh god. No, no, no. Marvin. Uh, we're, we're coming right back to Marvin's message. Uh, Marvin says, we're going to go to it right now. Cleo, you know, so them shoot up the mall with me in there and almost kill me. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. This, this, tonight, oh, oh when, that when did that happen, Marvin? I feel like my, my hands are shaking. When did that happen? Oh, my goodness. Um, so, you know, my momentum kind of gone now, yeah? Uh, I'm glad you're okay, Marvin. I'm Real so talk. happy you're okay. Um, the, the, oh, Lord. The people in the Bahamas who have lost their families. I saw people crying, mourning. I don't think I could ever fathom how hurt these people are. True. What they're feeling. I can empathize. And a million times of empathy. True. You know, or empathizing. I just couldn't. I see it, and it's like I'm saying, it's like a movie. You know, when you're acting a movie, you're filming yes. a movie. That's how it looks. Listen, and I'm really when, when you say cars upside yeah, down, I was like, cars oh. practically, I'm like, how that happen? How that happen? You know, like, uh, yeah. is it Maybe staged, you, can, you know? Yeah. Yeah, one, it if, it's, if, if it's a staged thing, it, it Because it's we cool, thought man. that Gilbert was a hurricane, one yeah. of the worst Jamaica I've seen. Yep. Based on which, my which time. Gilbert was a category five. Mm -hmm. And but, this now is a category five. Yeah, but D Gilbert did not... Well, I was a kid, but D Gilbert, from what I remember, didn't do th this kind of damage to Jamaica, did it? Because it wasn't so steadily... Right. Oh, my goodness. I, I, this I, thing I, hover over um, that side of Bahamas for oh like two God. days. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hover. It, it's sad. It just, it, it just sad. kicked back and just say, yo, right now you're somewhere building up. Sad. Sad. Yeah. Had it, had it gone faster, I'm sure it would have, you know, caused some damage, yes. Right, but, but not, not so as, severe, not, not right? Not so severe. Oh, True. Gosh. Uh, please, of course, express our heartiest sympathies to people who are hurting. I'm glad for those who are alive, you True. know, and just some broken bones mm. or minor injuries. Give God thanks. Give Definitely. thanks. Give thanks. All right. And um, big up. Um, nine uh, one. Let, let me see what 914 is saying, party. I'm from Porty, Big Styles family. All right. Big up from Japan, Tough Log. Yeah, big in up. Up and Log. All right. Big up. Big and I'll tell you something too. Um, when I was talking about the stats, Japan is actually doing well with listenership. So. Oh, great. Um, Bridget, it's a long day. You know, respect my boss. Tell all of the people in my Japan, all of the, you know, persons there that they know whether they're Japanese or Jamaicanese or. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that Lisa? Big oh, my up. God. God, Cleo, who is that person with you there? And it was Lisa. You know, I didn't say the name readily, but and it was Lisa, your your girlfriend. Of course, my one and only. <laughs> Patrice and Monique is locked in. My husband and I are tuned in. Patrice and Mario in Monique. Lord, no, just cute, so nice. big ups to big you up too. Yourself. Keep it locked. And, um, all right. Apologize to the Saint Mary people. Uh, we've been down for a couple of weeks oh, now. Oh, um, oh, cheer. But. That situation will be resolved by by about Tuesday. All right. right all being well. I want the good up, good up men. Men is one, uniting now. No, one bridge with messaging. You know, so read for you. I didn't see it. it yet. Okay. This one says, good night. Big up to Kemar in, in Bonnie Gate. Gate. I, I think Kemar would be listening from 96.1. Okay. Am, am I right? Cool. Or on the app. With oh, some. and the new Styles, the Styles, um, Styles FM radio app. Please mm -hmm. download it. Go on Google uh, Play on mm -hmm. uh, the Play Store and download the Styles FM radio app. You have the Styles FM Jamaica, but download the Styles FM radio app. That's what we're pushing now, right? Those who have it before, it's an upgrade, mm -hmm. right? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That's but what I use and listen to you. I oh. gave some trouble last week. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, Mama Winsome, my God, Mama. Good night to you, to God, Mama. <laughs> 
obey daddy rude. No, she big me up, see that? She just said daddy rude. You ain't her godson. No Don't worry. do that. Look here. To my Bahamian family, she says prayers going up to them. Thank you, Mama Winsome. Look and here. of course, don't, don't go there. Don't, don't. All right. And of course, Kevin in Tampa, Florida says Ivan did the same thing in the Cayman Islands. Was it that devastating still? I don't know. Remember, no, memory is all about memory. Yeah. So open, this one right now open, is correct. Um, you know? what, what's going on with Tampa there? No, 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 no. Okay. So, mm, Marvin had another mass shooting in Mid M Midland. 22 injured and Yeah, man, something dead. going on. What do you have to show? Texas have too much machine style. Yeah. Too much machine and there, they Texas. And they are giving more and more rights to them to be able to get it. Uh, let's see who else is on the text line quickly. No, no. Um, yeah, look what Lisa, Lisa is saying. Lisa says, girlfriend, I am a wife, no girlfriend around here. Please and thanks. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let's have a, hold on. Let's have a conversation about this. Oh, boy. Were you never, ever a girlfriend? I'd like an answer to that. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Raquel in pilot. Life life's sweeter with a girlfriend, them too. Mm, you know? I hear you. Right now, you're not a girlfriend. And things are sweet. <laughs> Me talk to you, things are sweet. Uh, yes, it right? is. And sometimes when some man have a boy or wife, they never never want to want to treat you, right? No. No, your girlfriend <laughs> and things sweet. No. Lisa says no. Uh, Lisa said no. Listen, we know when they're lying. <laughs> so, right, right, no. I said, turn the roll and broke my neck. Why you write that? Patricia, <laughs> leave Lisa alone. No, why should write that? No. Patricia turn the roll and, and broke my neck. <laughs> Patricia in Hampton Court says, good night. <laughs> Listening, she's listening. Good to know. Good to know. There's a brethren that wrote and told let you that see, he's a he's let me a see who wrote to the Lisa. Mind where you're gonna do to yourself, you know. Man, where you're gonna write. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else is there? We see uh Claude. We saw Claude already. See? Read what Donald says. Donald, my yes. friend Donald from Prospect Portland. Read what Donald says. This is Donald. Yes. I am a darn good man. Hear what the man says. And I won't give you no reason. A reason. Exactly. I'm just darn good. All right. Argument <laughs> done. Big up yourself, yeah, you Donald. Easy. Donald, please, I beg of you. Just give me, just give me a reason. Listen, you don't need to question one thing. The man one said. One reason I want, Donald. Just one. Oh, my okay? goodness. Please. And if it is that you prefer Lady Cleo to Daddy Rude. I know you'll be sending me one reason tonight. You can't prefer me. If you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the, the <laughs> lower end of the screen. I won't say bottom because I'm going to listen for him telling me, bro. So let's go to the lower end of the screen. See, I told you Lisa can't write that. See, I told you. I Lisa told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Roland Spiel, St. Thomas locked in. Maxine, bless up yourself too, lady. All right. Kimo in Sunning Hill locked in already. All right. Good. All right. So what's been happening with you? I was on vacation. My, and my bags. I'm going to get no rest. You did. No, I didn't. I'm going to get no rest. How was principal life? Why did you have to go do that? All right, man, let's see a little bit. Oh, Jesus, hey. stay. You can't take it back, Ouch. you know. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Everyone, did you know that she's a principal? Jesus. Uh, Lady Clear. Uh, Ouch. Will you stop it? My co host. <laughs> Oh boy. A principal. Don't do that. I don't like that limelight. So no, she I don't. is no <laughs> I go on stage on MC, but with, I don't with our, with our God. With our roly roly head. <laughs> she's a principal. So now she doesn't really have time to put herself like prim and proper like that. <laughs> you know, I I wanted to get you a nice grey handbag. Grey? Grey handbag. I you know what to the grey hold on, did you know what to the grey handbag? No, I didn't know. Oh my goodness, we got some chemistry! I wanted a grey bag. Because well, I can't seem to find any in Jamaica. Well, I said it for chemistry. You know? <laughs> Biology would have been good. But I said it for chemistry. <laughs> I think it's more physics. <laughs> Complications. But, oh boy. Yeah. But mom's never liked the bag. So I'm oh, sorry. Right. Okay, good. Yeah. Mom's, good, mom's good. never okay, liked fine. it. Okay, you know? fine. She said she said it not look like Cleo. It not pop like, yeah. You know and she knows that I love the pop. 
Yeah, hello, S popping. Stick to natural and principal, <laughs> right? I love you know? popping handbags. No, 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 no. You are not a principal, so. I am Cleo. The principal. <laughs> the the Friday, you know, yes. yes. Principal, come everybody, run. Principal, come. You know, and it, the kids are like. Hello, Miss Principal. <laughs> I'm like, my name is Miss Lewis for crying out. In my mind, I'm like, oh, I said, my name is Miss Lewis. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm oh, Miss Lewis for crying out loud. You know, but no, you know they, that. they just do what they do. Listen, no. <laughs> Go on to class. No. That's what principals no, do. No, no. Okay, nobody come change nothing, you know. No. Traditionally, no, everybody man. afraid of the principal. I don't want them to be afraid of me. Of course, they, they need to be. They need to be respectful. No. And they need to be mature no. and disciplined. No. Not afraid. My girl, What's listen. What's wrong with you? Were you afraid of your principal? Of course. <laughs> Bongi Chin. <laughs> Bongi Chin. Uh, I must say, I was afraid of my, my primary school, my, uh, my all eight school principal too. No, not that. You, you but can't. that was then. My girl. It's a different era. No, you, no. You find and ways I, I, of communicating I, 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 so they understand you. Oh. Just by a look. You know that before this position, my kids would, can write students, my kids that can write would just know what I mean by a look. I didn't have to say a word many times. Sister. Just a facial expression and they knew Sistrin. exactly what right, that meant. Right, no, you're not running a class and running the whole <laughs> camp. The whole camp. But it has to work. You should be able to look at them like as a child and he or she you knows need, that, okay, what I'm doing, I need to stop it. You need... It's effective. You need a quarter inch thick leather belt. What? You want me to lose my little work? No. Corporal punishment is forbidden. Look here. When? What, what you say? Go stand in the corner. Go in the corner. <laughs> Go in the corner. Out. <laughs> oh, in the corner. Time out. Is that what you're doing now? Good night, Lisa. Lisa, gotta go, I think. Is that what you're doing now? You, your girlfriend, wife, slash wife, gotta go. My ex. Your ex? Oh, Lord. <laughs> she's so good. Oh, it's the first, first time she's an, an ex come so quickly. <laughs> I don't swear and bye. Good night. I'm out. <laughs> That's a good answer, Lisa. Very good answer. So... What's Atlanta locked in as well? All right, kick go, up and check in. Go in the corner. Go in the <laughs> corner, Lisa. Go in the corner. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah, pretty much. Oh Lord, yes. What is this? You see, Raquel says the opposite. One from Saint Thomas, Raquel mm -hmm. in Pilot, Saint Thomas. Yes. Everyone knew me. My principal and I were cool. You see, way to go. Go in the corner, Raquel. Go in the corner. <laughs> go in the corner. So, so apart from Lee being on vacation, what? What one thing you did that you can share with us that you, you enjoyed? Remember that you can share with the listeners. I, I did a ceremony on a Sunday. A ceremony? Yeah, at home. What do you mean ceremony? I did. I, I, I preached. Huh? Yes. Hallelujah. You want to know what I preached about? Yeah, yeah, that should be interesting. Cassidy, are you interested in what I preached about? Say yes, Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy, <don't, laughs> Cassidy looks scared. <laughs> yes? Well, I preach about... Um, um, the, the lifestyle as it represents itself now, and and um, three persons in the Bible, mm -hmm. and I ask people, well, and I ask the persons there, which is only two other people. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. Go ahead, sir. Um, their views on three individuals. <laughs> right? Hold it, hold that thought. Yes. Lisa says. <laughs> Thank God I'm old. Both preach. Please speak to it. <laughs> Continue, sir. Yes, so two other individuals were there. Yes, and it represents, and, and I was using this particular, or these particular men mm -hmm. as representation of how life is now. Yes. And how we need to probably look deeper into our surroundings mm -hmm. and who we associate ourselves with. Right. In your opinion, in, as it relates to the disciples, mm -hmm. right? Who do you think, in your opinion, between Peter and Judas, mm -hmm. who's worst? Judas betrayed him. Peter denied him. I say go. What would you prefer if you had friends? Um, I do 
don't if I prefer anybody, if I were to choose one, right. I wouldn't want the betrayal. You wouldn't want the betrayal. Nothing so. All right, fine. Nothing is wrong with that. So we, we were grown to say that um, you, you, you're, you're wicked like Judas and stuff like that, right? <laughs> now, when you think about it, Judas was a thief, mm-hmm. right? And they made the thief the... And I don't want any biblical challenge here, right? The bursa. Now you're about to have his mouth. Mm-hmm. Now, if you make a hustler in charge of certain things, and in my opinion, you know, say, boy, the more ketchup on jar anyway. Mm-hmm. You can't eat a food. A man promise you money. Just say, oh, tell you where in there. Because the more ketchup on him. And the man decides, boy, you know, say, boy, I'm going to eat a food. Mm. He's a known thief. What you expect from him? Because, to my understanding, um, he was whispered to by Jesus, and he was told, go and do what you're supposed to do, which means it was destined. Oh. <clears throat> and we all grow to not like Judas, right? Mm. And at the same time, to when guilt took him, and he tried to bring back the money, mm-hmm. they said, no, a deal is a deal. And he could only live with his conscience by not living. He couldn't live with his conscience then. So he also gave his life. Mm-hmm. Peter <coughs> was his right hand man. With him dopes, your boss, I mm-hmm. got your back, I got you anything or anything. But he was also told that you will deny me, you shall deny me. And so it was also destined, is what you're saying. It's also destined. Mm-hmm. So you own a friend. <clears throat> your own friend where you trust may also turn them back on you when you need them most because if you're a bad man he maybe could have organized a little thing and create a coup could have mm-hmm. but he opted to hey boy I'm going to know him boy I want to I'm going to fool that man <laughs> right mm. but outside of that Jesus still forgave him. Yes, he did. But there's also one other person. So we have Judas and Peter. But there's one other person of significance that, that a lot of persons don't really think about. Who wanted to know who Jesus loved the most? Hmm. You know who that is, Cassidy? No. You don't know who that is? No. John. The Baptist? Wanted to know who Jesus loved the most. And what do you think that is in nowadays life? Don't know. Jealousy. Bad mind. Envy. Mm. And Mm. those are the things, the three things presently. Someone who would forsake you. For? Right, mm-hmm. sell you out. <coughs> mm-hmm. That's what exists nowadays in our very lifestyle, mm-hmm. how we're living in Jamaica right now and many other parts of the world. Sell you out. Somebody who will turn them back on you when you need them most. Mm. And somebody who has a bad mind you. Wow. That's profound. Well. Lisa, I'm actually, this, listeners, this is Ewell Jackson, and I repeat. Huel Jackson (laughs) just gave us a very profound, deep, sensible, might I add, Mm -hmm. lesson from the Bible applicable to our everyday lives. Lisa, don't run away, honey. This wasn't um, Daddy Ruth just now. He's gone for a little walk. He'll soon come back. This is Hewell Jackson. I told you he had sense. Lord, it's black post. Lisa says, <laughs> Lisa, I want to meet Lisa so bad. Lisa, not funny. Lisa is off the chains crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, so, that, that was deep, though. Give me a high five. Ooh, right, I'll take love it. my partner in crime. Better than a beaten. Yes, it is. Yes. At first, well, oh, but, at I first. mean, it, it's something to think about. Yes. And, and remember, you know, even when the people, when they ask, um, who should I choose? And the people chose, chose um, what, what the man named? Barabbas. F- set Barabbas free. 
Mm. Right. So in, in, in a lot of circumstances, even in, in a work environment, right, when everybody know and would have they took it and say, boy, you know, say, well, I go on a right and this, that, this, that, and something right, and we don't like what this I go on. And when the opportunity comes to do what is right, they choose what would be popular with the person in charge. Mm. So it's not that Jesus didn't do good for them, or they didn't know that Jesus was, was, um, was a good man. Right? They knew he was a good man, but they choose mm -hmm. what they think the boss wants to hear. So set Barabbas free. So people, if you look at your surrounding and analyze your group, analyze who you associate yourself with, and be very careful of, you know. Real talk. Yeah, just be very careful. And I recently had an example, a living, uh, had an example of that. Yeah. Or, or I had an experience with what you just mentioned. And trust me, not everybody who smiles with you are really with you. Gosh. Mm. Yeah. Bad mind. Yeah. Envious. I mean, remember now, John, mm -hmm. John, John was a good person, but I mean, why was it important to want to know who Jesus loved the most? Mm -hmm. That never important, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, right, right, right. You know, it, 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 if you hear a boy, um, I can't say love the most, how you feel? Mm -hmm. You know? So, mm -hmm. so it's almost like you have kids and one kid's wife, well, I feel like somebody is a favorite, mm -hmm. you know? You, you can't have that imbalance. So we have to just, you know, just, just pray the thing and, and, and try to figure out what will go on in your circles. And that was ceremony for that Sunday. Real talk. You know? Oh, my gosh. Word. <laughs> Lisa <laughs> says words. I tell you, Lord, Lisa, sensible connecting words for true and not lying to you. All right, let's see who else is on the WhatsApp connection real quick. Uh, ooh, we want to also big up... Say big ups to Diane over there in Atlanta, Georgia. Yep. My place, my place. Who else is on the connection? Anybody else locked in? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> now we, we, we highlighted all those people already. And remember, gentlemen, I want to know, apart from Donald, who not telling me any secrets, <laughs> men out there, ladies, tell me if the man is a good up, good up man. Now, please do. And tell me one thing that makes him that way. All right. Leave all Wow, very nice, Sir Jackson. I told you it was you, Ella, not Daddy Road. <laughs> yes, Shelly. Real talk, isn't it? Well, guess what, guys? We're up on the 12 o'clock. Oh, Jesus. No, sir. The 10 o'clock break. It's now. You did something before you came, all right? You're in a different <laughs> zone, right? You, you did time something. It's brought to us by VJ Printing Services. You need to let me know if that smells good. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. I'll tell you how it smells when I get back. And the time is brought us by? Oh, you said that already, right? Yes. yes. VJ Printing. Yes, we soon come. All righty. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266. driver you notice that you're parking in a no parking zone you know so you can get a ticket for this sir really officer but just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know do me a beg you give me a blind huh? so if you need hardware supplies why you don't go to ram tula super center and hardware ram tula super center and hardware 34 folly road port antonio portland we stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town at ram tula's hardware experience the three c's comfort competitive prices and convenience ram tula super center and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town, 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 town. Don't miss the adrenaline rush. 
with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artist and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Take us to work. Take us on a go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA 213. 213- 992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yeah. Welcome back to Real Talk. Your Northeastern radio station. You know, broadcasting to you live from Portland on the 96.1, 96.5, and the 96.7. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I learned um, also? Mm-hmm. Is that basically all women are the same. They are, okay. they, they are blueprint from, from, from the same um, negative, from the same original. Really? Yes. How so? Well, <coughs> You know, me adore my daughter, mm-hmm. right? So we've been we up there and we have a vacation and stuff. And she get a pocket change from a brother. She get a pocket change from daddy styles, right? Mm-hmm. She well wants to spend her money, right? Every time I have money, I'll I'll buy it. I have money, mm-hmm. right? So I'm say, no man, make that stay because she would probably want to buy or pay for the lunch and this. I'm say, no man, make that stay mm-hmm. because I had plans on how and when I wanted her to spend the money, right? It's not my money, but I had plans on how and <laughs> something that was more meaningful. All right. So she liked the Lego toys then. She liked the, 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 the 400 and odd pieces, 500 and odd pieces mm-hmm. and, and up and blah, blah, blah. So I said, whenever we go to, a, I think, um, Walmart, I'm going to make sure pay for it. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm going to make sure buy herself that. Mm-hmm. So I already have a budget in mind based on what, what, what she has. You know, I so said, after I go to cashier, <laughs> I may pay a fee to say, my girl, what wow, the things set in my money? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, I learned a valuable lesson. Mm-hmm. You said, no man wants to spend their money, but then spend their money. money. <laughs> 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 so, oh, right boy. now, I'm not too, too in and nothing with him when it comes down to money. Right? <laughs> so, I'm making no right now, money. Me and you kind of mash up one like a way, but we're only responsible for you. But did she ask to pay for it? No, she didn't. Okay. She knew. So you're right. No, 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 no. She knew it oh. was, that, that's what she should write. Okay. So, okay. so she cash your ring up and everything, you know, just separate. Just, just ring up. Mm-hmm. But she brought my foot. <laughs> but man, everything cool, everything jiggy. <laughs> nah, I complain. She's smart, just like Miss J. But guess what? The Zion, mm-hmm. me, I'm boss. Oh, me, I'm dopes. Okay. Me, I'm dopes. The only thing he need for the mother is just breast milk. Okay. I mean, par with it. Okay. For now. Well, I'm, 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 I'm going to introduce him to him first, girl, and all them <laughs> something. So, 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 I said, we don't need a par. And she's going to ride off a bicycle without brakes, right? <sighs> and eventually, if, 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 as he gets if, older, if, candles in the room. If at that time things, the pillows. if at that time those <laughs> things are still available, no matter yet, the G strings. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, the G strings in the name. Look, can I tell you, ladies? Oh boy, I can't forget that, that one. That was romantic. Or it was Ro- romantic. Who? Yes, it was romantic. Or I hope Nezaya doesn't come to go and stop in the bushes with bags. I mean, the rate at which <laughs> I, I think he will. <laughs> I think he will. I think he's going to be... Rude, he might have a, have a, have a processing plant similar let's, to mine. Let's go to our box mom idea for tonight. <laughs> I tell you, boy. 
Okay, so we go to our box pop tonight, guys. You know we have a box pop for you. And there are times when we do have an article. And other times when we also have people coming in, visitors coming in to share with yep. us. And of course, we'll be seeing some more of that later on in subsequent weeks. Yep. All right? So, our vox pop tonight is depression is known is a known killer yep a very serious real talk this one do you think taking on someone else's stress is a good will thing or is it more damaging to you explain can you identify any situation in your life that made you depressed or stressed out if yes please share of course once you're comfortable to do so you can share how do you deal with stressful situations that's the last part of it i'm um, cassidy how do you deal with stressful situations? You know, this is a very serious, serious real talk, you know. And I really want our listeners to share those who have never shared before. We would love to engage you tonight. Those who have always been sharing, please feel free to tell us your ideas and your experiences. Because guess what? It could very well help somebody yep. out there listening somebody who's on the verge of just giving up please we urge you listeners be a part of the show tonight and try to see how best we can educate not just entertain but educate someone else and save a life all right now we know that there are persons out there we have even even lost people recently colleagues not colleagues friends and associates even of our very own radio station, we have lost them to a very gruesome, well, awful act of suicide. And it's, it's, it's sad when someone thinks that that's the only alternative and that's the last alternative. And it must have been some state, a very serious state of mind that would have led them down that road. Yep. So tonight we're going to be looking at this topic and, you know, looking at it real, in a real talk kind of way. And please, if you can share, please feel free to express yourselves tonight. All right. So depression is a known killer. And. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. All right. Um, depression. And, you know. Depression in layman terms is a period that of your life or of one's life where he or she has been so stressed by something, mentally, psychologically stressed, emotionally stressed by something, that it plunges them in a state of either feeling sorry for themselves and to the point where they begin to feel helpless, hopeless, useless. Right? True. They are saddened. And even when people are around them, even when they have company and they are laughing in a group, you know, or chit-chatting among friends, even then, they can still be going through depression because it's, it's not a one-off thing. It's a state. Yeah? And sometimes people smell on the outside, but only if you knew what was going on on the inside. There are people who can put on a facade and camouflage what is going on deep inside and from we can understand for many reasons they want to protect their emotions they don't want people who are insensitive to ridicule or mock them you know and they try to just keep it in and over time that bottling in not having the right channels to let it out then what hmm. you find is that they start to you know internalize Abs, things right, and, and act, act out yeah act right. out I mean, my life is... Withdrawn. Oh, yeah? My life is awful. I am not loved. I'm not important. I'm a nobody. And they, they start to get these awful feelings and, about and, themselves. And another part of, of depression or when persons get into a depressive state is when pretty much pr they, they have dependence yeah. and believe that they cannot provide enough... For the dependent. For the dependent. And another way, too, 
even as it relates to relationship, is there is someone of significance in your life or someone you thought of was of significance to you in a sense that to you, they're important. But when you find out to them, you're not necessarily as equally important. important. So that psychological effect, that, Im that affects your emotion and, you know, start to feel a sense of... Um, <clears throat> rejection so to speak yes you know and and that too if not fostered properly or if it's not dealt with properly can lead you into depression some people in relationships again the woman is stressing out the man and the man sometimes is stressing out the woman or they're both stressing out each, each other. other yeah and they're there and god forbid ladies gentlemen if it is not in good stance with you, your health, your mental faculty, not coping with the situation. Get out. Because again, over time, you stay and you stay and you're trying to... I, I think to I, I'd, I'd like to probably fix. use um, work on getting out. Because yeah, getting out is not so, 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 yeah, so, so yeah, quick. Work on. Work, work on, on getting out. Definitely. Um, it's, it's sad because... Despite how tough a man is, or how strong a woman thinks she I is, tell you something. You know, there is that one person. I have the feeling that women are by far stronger. I think so too. Um, than men, we are easily broken. Yeah, man. Yeah. Especially when it comes to the point when we, when we believe that we cannot provide for our dependents. Some men you know? don't care. Well, some don't care, but you know, or some probably act out their depression by, 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 by being more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And apparently, it comes off of, of, of being um, not caring. You know, some men would want the internet just to maintain the ego. But in reality, a lot of them are crying on the inside. Mm -hmm. They're internalizing, right, the whole, the, 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 trying to mask the real issue. Mm -hmm. And I think that is why a lot of men especially um, shun counseling. Mm. Because, yo, we know I'm not in front of counselor, man. I can't come tell me nothing. My well, brethren, so my brethren, brethren were cuss off counselor. It's not so smart. Right? You need it's, help. But we're not going to admit to that. We think we know and that's the, the solution problem to everything. And men. They right, think so. they know everything. And I'm speaking generally now, yeah? So don't be offended, gentlemen. We don't offend it. <laughs> we want to. No, they think they know it all so much that even when a lady, for their lady, or someone comes along to say, listen, I think if we were to do this, it could help. They don't want it because their ego is so big. Yes. And they feel like they're beyond and above counseling because they might feel a sense of, quote unquote, weakness. True. A strong man. My view is that a strong man takes counsel. If he's wise and he identifies, first thing, that he has a problem, then you alone can solve it. You know, you, you know that... Seek um, help, man. You, you know that this, this thing that going around that time, a real man and a real man, that it affects some of us. Really? It does. Because when you put on um, the, the number of what it requires to make Be you real. real, right, it's kind of pressuring. It Wa shouldn't be. If wanting, you, if you match well up to enough, some of those, then you're real. Come pressuring, on. Want, want, wanting to be real. Yeah, but so if if you look on if 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 you, if if you look at so many of the posts that happens on social media, mm -hmm. I'm certain for myself, I'm not <laughs> even one fiftieth of being real. I, I mean, right? real is relative to everybody. It's relative. Yeah? Right. But I think there's a general you know, you, essence you, 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 of what a real you know, man you, you, is. You know which one... You have real man, you have good man. Cassidy, you know which, which one plays on the mind of a lot of men? What? The one when the woman is pregnant, the man hug him up, hug up the woman, and say a real man would care for a woman being impregnated by another man. But who don't want we... <laughs> Come here, read this. Who don't want us... <laughs> yes. You guys yes. want us not, to not. accept when you go out there and get someone that's pregnant, but you can't accept we when we get pregnant. We're not, we're not, we're not looking for, we're a, real, we're not looking for a, re a real woman. We're, we're not, not looking for that. Oh, we're just, we're just, want, a, we're just okay. want a woman. I, uh -huh. want, I want, I want a woman. <laughs> that's all I want. All what was said is true. Amen. Respect, Madame. Thank my dad. you, Claude. And Shelley, wow. 
Okay, she got that one already. All right, so, so we're looking at an article on. here. I'll just go back to the Vox Pop for a minute. For me. Let me just repeat it for those who might not have heard it. Um, depression is a known killer. Do you think taking on someone else's stress is a goodwill thing or is it more damaging to you? Explain. Can you identify any situation in your life that made you depressed or stressed out? If yes, please share. How do you deal with stressful situations? situations. So, of course, we will be looking at part one. Not if taking on somebody yeah. else's stress um, but we wanna look is at, a good thing um, to do. We want to look at uh, or, or try to find a background as to what depression is. Yeah. So we'd like to crave your, your indulgence. All right. So here we go with this overview. Depression, um, major depressive disorder. All right. And it says depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Also called major depressive disorder or clinical depression. It affects how you feel think and behave and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems De deliverance you may have trouble doing normal day-to-day -day activities and sometimes you may feel as if life isn't worth living oh my goodness so it affects how you behave and it affects how parents can behave with children yep be affects how children can behave act with their parents too because they can be depressed too you know right um and, how they feel and this could also cause antisocial behavior behaviors, yeah how they feel about self how they feel about other people especially people who might be happy or seem happy yes true they would have uh, feelings towards, towards those them, people right how they think and the people who think oh are always negative in thought and you know I think some of them are going through some serious, some serious yeah, man. True. And um, it says here too, can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. And many of the relationships that people are in these days, you know, they might not even admit, know it or can admit to it. But there could very well be some depression going on going there. Because an over time pro prolonged problem can lead to some of these issues that we just read about. You may have trouble doing normal day-to-day -day activities and sometimes you feel as if life isn't worth it, I, I, worth living. I think when it has gone, it is as rich now or going towards that advanced stage, then you start feeling that this life not worth living anymore. When it is an issue bothering you. R rid of the problem. Yeah, yeah. And, if when, when, and when you work slowly to get rid of the problem, you find that things can sometimes build, get, yeah, build yeah. better. More than just about, more than just about of the blues, depression isn't a weakness. And you can't simply snap out of it. Depression may require long-term treatment, but don't get discouraged. Most people with depression feel better with medication, psychotherapy, or both. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Symptoms of depression. You know, I have been in that state before, but I didn't get no medication, thank God. No, no, therapy. You remember, um, therapy. You remember, I rid myself of the problem. You remember, um, in the earlier days, I was, I was the, 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 there are several times we come here and say, boy, the week rough, but boy, just to come up and real talk. Yes. And it's like, it was release some stress yes. for the laugh and have fun therapeutic and th very yeah. therapeutic thank you real talk yeah thank you listeners you thank me i'm me get it this the, 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 the problem thank you, Cassidy. but seriously though yeah. i'm here the one where, 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 where say you drink from the fountain of the youth <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy, do not laugh at me <laughs> just come back in like that because that's not nice <laughs> so I didn't know you talk what you were talking about then. I know now. Yes, you'll never yes. Use that again. <laughs> Alicia in Los Angeles, California. Hey, I want to go to Cali one day. Too much earthquake. I won't stay long. <laughs> Good night, Lady Cleo. I can speak with you off air on the topic of depression. Sure. When we go sure. to break. All right. When we go to the break. Number. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. Oh boy. 
Okay, get with this bag, Daddy Road. One press. Yes, sir. And then you swipe. And s- mm, sure. <laughs> so, so it, it, it's it's a very serious issue, and um, I'm gonna tell you some symptoms right now. Although depression may occur only once during your life, people typically have multiple episodes. During these episodes, symptoms occur most of the day, nearly every day, and may include. Before going any further, I don't think man was, man was severe, like some of them something, you know. Okay. It was at the brink of it. We were feeling just fed up, fed up and frustrated with a situation that was just not getting any better. Right. Yeah, but I'm a strong woman. Strong, yeah. black, beautiful woman. I read myself of the... I saw where it was getting me to a state. I said, no, 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 Stick no. Stick no. strong and black. And beautiful. Uh, uh, out. Beautiful. Out. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. And natural. Don't forget. Yes. Strong, okay. black, and natural. Let's use those Naturally three. beautiful. Go on with your business. Just say strong, black, and so natural. So symptoms. Although. Okay. We read that part. Here are the symptoms of depression. So if you see any of your family members or your friends with any of these symptoms, Talk with them now and find out what is really happening. Get, get them to somebody who can really help. Somebody who can sit down back and so support them problem. If it's in your area, you can't find anybody in your area. Go out of your area, man, and find somebody. You have real, real good up, good up pastors out there. Yes. Some good up, good up ones exist. So find one of those. Mm-hmm. All right. Feelings of sadness, tearfulness, emptiness, or hopelessness. So when I ball during one movie, that's tearfulness. It's a ball, so. Every few other parts of the scene, me, me, me just find myself, oh, you're, you're, just, you're just weak. That's not depression. No, you're weak. I am not weak. All right, you're emotional. Yes. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> Two, angry outbursts, irritability, or frustration, even over small matters. Oh, my God, I know somebody like that. So... Could it be though that depression could be persisting? Let me see if you smell so good. Let me see if you smell so good. It's me, man. Go and read. Yes, it's me. No, I so, me never said nothing after that. Yes, it's me. So, so, so I'm thinking here that a, a person from there were a young child could have been depressed growing up. Could be. Or an, an adolescent period of their lives, depressed. But they become an adult, and for some reason, it's not wasn't treated. And somewhere there, it could very well resurface. These kind of attitudes could re- re- resurface. Yeah, I, as we said, some of them might just grow antisocial. Mm-hmm. Some persons who you find wow. that they want to be um, introverts. Hmm. Loss of interest or pleasure in most of all in most or all normal activities such as hmm. sex, hobbies, what? or sports. Lack of and interest. Social. Wow. So and depression can kill a person. Sexual desire. Killer vibes, I guess. Wow. Sleep disturbances, including insomnia or sleeping too much. So if your if your partner is sleeping too much, she might very well be pregnant. But <laughs> she could also be suffering from you know, depression. Possible, possible. You have different. The different stages of the depression, yeah? And I'm not saying it's a hard and fast rule, please. I'm just saying it could be. Tiredness and lack of energy. So even small tasks take extra effort. That's one like laziness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Reduced appetite and weight loss or increased craving for food and weight gain. Yes, there are people when they're depressed, they, they will eat weight. like crazy. That's true. And then there are others, the flip side is also true. There are others when they are stressed out, they lose the weight, they don't want to eat them just... I think I would have been more along that line. The only time I find myself eating, uh, like wanting to just crave food is if I am studying and working with books yeah, right. and paperwork. I don't know where the hunger comes from, it just comes. Mm-hmm. Anxiety, agitation or restlessness can't keep still. Are these, are these stages during adulthood, though? Predominantly, you think? Well, Could be. I doubt it. I guess it's... Right across the board. Right across, okay. yeah. Okay. Slow, slowed thinking, speaking, or body movements. I am moving slow, but I'm getting old, so 
Maybe that's it. <laughs> Feelings of worthlessness or guilt. Fixating on past failures, oh my goodness, or self-blame. Listen to me now. There are people sometimes around you. There are people around you sometimes who will make you feel like you are of no good. And you sometimes believe them right. and start to blame yourself. yourself right. Everything you blame yourself for. Stop it. Stop it. We all have our shortcomings. Everybody has a closet. Some small, medium, big. Mm -hmm. Large, huge, humongous. We all have our glitches and our inhibitions. Don't let anyone tell you that you are no good. You are worthless. And always putting guilt on you. If you know you are guilty of something or you did something wrong, go ask forgiveness. The Lord will forgive you. Stop allowing other people who are no better off than you in their actions, words, thoughts, and deeds. Don't let them put you in a box like in a rectangle and classify you as worthless or continue to make you feel that you're always a failure. Stop it. Real talk? Real talk. The other one says trouble thinking, concentrating, making decisions, and remembering things. And you know, I heard of a case where a man did that to his spouse. Pressured her so much up your soul that it would seem as if over time she was just going Quest to another... questioning herself. Yes. So that one day if I should do it. She and, and the action, people were questioning yeah. the actions, if things were okay. So she get mad. Yeah. And, and women do it to men, and men do it to women. Mm -hmm. Not try to control nobody to the point where you're getting them to do things only because you want them to do it. A relationship is supposed to be something that two people have mutual understanding and respect for each other and they decide that, okay, if I'm going to do this, okay, I choose to do this. But at the same time, it shouldn't be because the man insists, look, you know, you're off to that and that's someone wants it or else. And there have some people who are very, very, um, what we call them? They, they control people's minds manipulative yeah. very very manipulative and we ought to Almost. not let that happen to any of us all right oh uh, let's know well after well, the seconds man yeah we'll not give out the number though the 954 i think all right alicia lady cleo can i okay can i say the numbers again please the 954 the overseas number is 954 Three three eight seven nine seven three. That's nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. Local number eight seven six four five three one four four four. We give you more right after the break. It's ten thirty. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. Yep. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 do you have or are you seeking a place to rent seeking employment or have a job vacancy are you selling a car or having a garage sale then come see us let styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising style. Advertise with styles. Wild African Records presents Dub for Dub second edition Sunday, October 20, 2019 at Lanza Land, Port Antonio. Total nice is as you enter. Dub a fly left, right and center. Supersonic sound versus sound sensation versus Apostle International. MC DJ Prestige for Styles FM. Admission to your general down to Allah. We don't turn down nothing about my shirt color. So make sure you come out early. We don't love late. Who are in the land? You think I ice cream will come out on my dub plate? For the best.
best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, Native Audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native Audio. We make your events audible. 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 Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk on Styles FM Radio. You're tuned, of course, to Daddy Rude and yours truly, Lady Cleo. All right, so we were on the symptoms of depression. We had explained what depression was um, in regards to our box pop idea for tonight. And uh, we looked at the symptoms of depression. And we were on the one that says... Frequent or recurrent thoughts of death, hmm. suicidal thoughts, suicide attempts, or the actual act itself. Oh, oh, oh. This is my fear, my greatest fear right there. And the other one says unexplained physical problems, such as back pain or headaches. And yes, stress. Any form of stress. Is there a difference between depression, being depressed, and stressed out? Um, I don't think there's much difference. Okay. Let me, um, let, let me check. I'm gonna check. Unexplained physical problems. You, you, when you're stressed, when you're stressed, and I think the difference could be that a stress, stress could be more momentary or temporary. Where something could be causing you to feel stressed right now. True. And, you know, as opposed to depressed. Depression. I don't know. I just think it's a longer term state that you're in. If you're because you, you could have long term stress because, to stay. Because still. them have a thing when they say you um, have fallen into depression. Depression, right. So it's prolonged. Like a can't come out of Yes. Something. It's a, Something that is prolonged over time, and what I think it Are does. In a state of depression. Yeah, what I think it, what what I think happens is at this point now, who you are, who you knew yourself to be, all of that is like changing. Yes. And that's when now you're gone, you're tipping now overboard into a different state, right? It's not a case where you're oh I was at this level before and now I'm feeling positive and uplifted because mm -hmm. I've gone to a different level, whatever. Different. It's more the opposite where you're at a place where you felt comfortable at one point in your life, but here you are now for whatever reason or because of whomever, you're now feeling less than what you what were you feeling were, before. Yeah. So, you know. Okay, let me see um, if it comes up. If it comes up? For many people who, with depression, symptoms usually are severe enough to cause noticeable problems in day-to-day -day activities, such as work, school, social activities, or relationships with others. Some people may feel generally miserable or un unhappy without really knowing why. And as I said, in relationships, it doesn't have to be man-woman. It doesn't have to be an eros kind of relationship. It can be a relationship with your co-workers. It can be a relationship with your schoolmates, your classmates. Just even in a social environment, you can't seem to function. You, you can't seem to be among a group of friends and have a civil social discussion. You're gone off. 
you're not interested you're not you know so oh god i feel awful to even think that well, people you know go through this kind of thing well here's here's what they're saying is the difference between um mm-hmm. stress and depression um this is from metro news mm-hmm. all right and i think the the author nicole morley it says um Although some of the symptoms and effects can seem similar, there's a big difference between stress and depression. Mm -hmm. Depression is a common but serious mental issue Mm -hmm. which can cause prolonged periods of sadness and suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. Stress is also common and serious, though it's often underestimated are accepted as a part of day-to-day life. Mm. Yeah, the easiest way situation will stress you, you know, from yes, time to time. The, the easiest way to start feeling better is to identify exactly what you're dealing oh. with, right? Mm. That's causing the so you can start um, self-care if you if you already seek treatment. Mm. And this self-care thing is so important there's a song that says what's wrong with being selfish sometimes when it comes on to your best interest you just got to be self-care is important it's inevitable it should be inevitable because guess what really and truly the truth of the matter is no one will take better care of you than you or no one should be able to take better care of you than you so st- stop depending on a woman stop depending on a man so holy and solely <laughs> to take the greatest care of you because there is absolutely no guarantee and sometimes people go off in the depressed state and get become stressed out over a situation because of their expectation i know persons who have had great expectations and when they weren't met it depressed them well they said um expectation is the recipe for disappointment yes it is um, so what, take care of yourself. What they're saying is that they have um, spoken to a number of experts, which is um, met- Metro.co. Mm-hmm. And it says Metro.co consulted a few experts who pointed out the main difference between stress and depression mm-hmm. and the warning signs to look for. Either in your own or perhaps in the behavior of a friend, relative, or colleague. Mm-hmm. Depression is a clinical condition which has some well-defined symptoms. And this is in quotation, it's a very common disorder affecting the whole population to the point that it is ready to overtake as the first case of morbidity across the world to cardiovascular issues. Mm -hmm. It's an illness. Wow. He pointed out that stress means completely different things to different people. Mm-hmm. A family feud, pressure at work, physical woes, no, well, I'm sorry, financial woes, loneliness, stress comes in a million forms. Yep. And different things can cause And different things, stress. right. Stress. Um, what one person considers a manageable everyday task, another could find. Stressful. Right. Yep. Definitely. Insurmountable, stressful. Insurmountably stressful. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, we go to depression in si- symptoms in children and teens. Should, is that's a very short part. Common signs and symptoms of depression in children and teenagers are similar to those of adults, but there can be some differences. In young children, symptoms of depression may include sadness, irritability, uh, clinginess, worry, aches and pains, ref- refusal to go to school and being underweight. In teens, symptoms may include sadness, irritability, feeling negative and worthless, anger, poor performance, 
or poor attendance at school, feeling misunderstood and extremely sensitive, using recreational drugs or alcohol, eating or sleeping too much, self-harm, loss of interest and norm in normal activities, and avoidance of social interaction. Depression symptoms in, in older adults. Depression is not a normal part of growing old and it should never be taken lightly. <laughs> hmm. Unfortunately, depression often goes undiagnosed and untreated in older adults and they may feel reluctant to seek help. Yep. Symptoms of depression may be different or less obvious in adults, in older adults. And here are some of those symptoms. Memory difficulties or personality changes. Physical aches or pain. You have back pain. You have arm pain, shoulder, headaches. All both of are ache and pain. Yeah. Yep. Apart from the arthritis situations, yes, because there are people who just have ache and pain and it's not them, them, them so happy. So it must be something else. Fatigue, tiredness, that is, right? Loss of appetite. Sleep problems or loss of interest in sex, not caused by a medical condition or medication. So the interest in sex is, is not there and it's not because of medicine or dematech. Hmm. Right? Or any medical condition. Often wanting to stay at home rather than going out to socialize or doing new things. Suicidal thinking or feelings, especially in older men. Gentlemen, if you can't get a girlfriend, don't stress about it. <laughs> What's they have so them? many options. Like? Annie. <laughs> and he's always there. Use it. And they're so to know, man. <laughs> I, they have, I see these men have dolls. You know? <laughs> People, if you see the way Cassidy looked at Lady Cleo, it's the first. I've got Cassidy's bad eyes since I've been here. <laughs> But, up, right? but it's better you go to the doll than to get stressed over it. Have fun with the doll in your own private space. In your own private space, Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy, you can imagine. You just know, you just know, so you just sat out the dolly and then all the bridge link. Oh, well, go on, dog. <laughs> you just don't know. No stress, we say. Right? Absolutely no stress. So whatever will help to relieve the stress. Once it's low abiding, and I think using your doll is very low abiding. Hmm. Cassidy, you have a doll? No, you don't. You have one? Yes, I do. Yeah? Yes. How is she? She's in Montego Bay. I didn't say where. I said, oh. Oh, she's fine. She's fine? Yes. You fine too? I'm good. <laughs> All right. Yes. Cool. It's good to know. A live doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's as pretty as a doll. So we work with that. When, when to see a doctor. If you feel depressed, make an appointment to see your doctor or mental health professional as soon as you can. If you are reluctant to seek treatment, talk to a friend or a loved one. Any healthcare professional, a faith leader, or someone else you trust, your yeah, man, for heaven's sake. Back road, miss. What well, you know about back road, Kevin? You live in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> you live in Tampa. What do you know about back road? Everywhere has a back road. Everywhere has a back road. Everywhere has a back road. If it's even back, back there. Yeah, the road. Okay, Kevin. No stress, miss. So if you're this stressor is back road. All the best to you. All right? When to get emergency Did, did you know help? that this street is called back, back road? road? Yes, it is. Right. So everywhere is a back road. Okay. Right. So that's where Cassidy goes. So leave Kevin alone. Back road. <laughs> to work. To work. <laughs> <laughs> when to get emergency help. If you think you may hurt yourself or attempt suicide, please, for God's sake, call one one. 119, right? Yep. In Jamaica, it's 119. In foreign, it's 911. You, you know, I was told that 911 works here. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, so I guess it recognizes it. Mm. it's an World emergency. Okay. Right. Or your local emergency number immediately. Please, please. It's not worth it. It doesn't take the problem away. Just makes your loved ones miss you more and you lose us on a beautiful life. Yeah? Or what could be a beautiful life. Always consider these options if you're having these thoughts. Call your doctor or mental health professional. Go for hospital and tell them how you feel. Go check the man. Make them give you one in no, no injection. So then can go check the man. Anything to de-stress yourself. I ain't going to see no man. <laughs> but the man, you know, check the man. If if that's their cup of tea. So if you want to go check the no, man. No, I'm more stressed out. You're depressed No, but he might go bring the stress. Then suppose, like, then suppose. The very thought of going to him would de- would stress yeah. me out. But the man, God, I got to tell us a boy. You know, say, I the one. Oh no! <laughs> you know, as you said that, <laughs> I heard of a case where the Obia man told the client. When he goes, when he's coming back to visit him, take some dirt on the yard and carry it. Come, let me tell you what really I want. So the man on his way to the Obey man now really forget to take up dirt from Fim Yard mm-hmm. and take up the dirt from the Obey man yard. <laughs> Go inside. And the man say, Yes, the tree put them where you have, with the, with the, where you have, oh, with the, whatever, 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 <laughs> and I'll fear them. And line out the other something, give the man. Man say, Yes, you're right, because I feel you're in the dirt. Come out. Of course, you're not going to write right there, same place. <laughs> so, oh, there's tricks, tricks and trades to it, yeah? So, in, but, so in other words, the tree pitted them at the other man, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't feel. feel. <laughs> Poor thing. Couldn't, couldn't manage it. Couldn't manage it. All right. Um, if, you, if you have a loved one, Okay, we also said to, if that, those thoughts were to come, so that su- suicidal thoughts, call a suicide health um, hotline. Reach out to a close friend or loved one. Contact a minister, spiritual leader, someone else in your community. If you have a loved one who is in danger of suicide or has made an attempt, make, some, make sure someone stays with that person. Yep. And call the emergency numbers immediately. Or if you think you can do so safely, take the person to the nearest hospital or emergency room. A very serious issue. Um, hi, Gracie. Good night to you. Let's go to the Vox Pop once again. Um, okay. oh, All right. I didn't know that there was more. Depression is a known killer. Yep. Do you think taking on one someone else's stress is goodwill thing? Or is it more damaging to you? Hmm. I don't think anyone taking on anybody's stress can be a good thing. I think what you can do to help to safeguard you and your mental state is to offer as much assistance and support as you can. Isn't that not stressful? No, it doesn't have to be. Yes, I know that persons will... Then, then let me ask you a question. Internet, um, Cassidy, we'll, we'll try to think about this. Look for clear. The good, good, clear with the whole we know. Right? <laughs> she. <laughs> all of a sudden, oh, Lord. here's a clear stress out. I'll go for you, go look for clear, clear start. Marga down. That not going stress your puppy. When you think back all one night like this, when in her all natural state, and she still have a look. I didn't say anything about it, so yes, still. Yeah, <laughs> Before. Right? Yes, continue. And then when you go to know you see him draw down because something stress him out. Mm. That's how stress we out. Because guess what? We don't go about the one the principal. But, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have, but you have to know how to be strong because I have friends who have been there for them before and I didn't take the stress and when you left personally. Lord, God, clear. Lord, clear mm. what the one <laughs> I've offered, and to be honest with you, I can offer better assistance to a friend in need of the assistance and, and, and um, counseling than I can my own self. self yeah, it's ironic. Yeah, that's true. It happens. You know, I, I can't, I, and I, I might know what to do for myself to help, but, but I can't, can't find myself administering it or doing yes, it. Yes. But I will be able to tell the friend, man, 
yes, ensure that you do this. And because you're doing this, this is causing you to go through that state and True. blah, blah, blah. I, I can do that very well. You would think I'm a trained counselor. But to do it for self is, is impossible almost. All right? So <clears throat> do you think it's more damaging to you? I think if it is that you take it on wholly and solely and allow it to affect your emotions that deeply. Yes. If you're not, if you're not doing it subjectively. Or if you're not or strong. Strong, right. And if you're not objective, analyze, okay, this is why I'm going to do this to help this person. So you can't afford to break. Because then the That's person hard, depending though. on you. Yeah, well, you might not break in front of the person, but after you leave, you're like, John was time, you yeah. can't believe said and this. And that I could understand, but I think people at that stage in their life, it, who are in that state of, of, of mind or in that stage, in, at their, that stage in their life, they need somebody's help. True. So if you really know you're not able to manage to help through the stressful period, find somebody who can, because when they see you breaking, Trust me, it only makes them feel worse. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, can you identify any situation in your life that made you feel stressed? Well, I didn't share. Well, I didn't share the experience, but I have been mildly there. Right. Daddy Rude was stressed all the time when he had to stop the bags in the bushes. <laughs> to number two, when driving, couldn't find a Oy. place to stop. When riding off his bicycle hey. from his girlfriend, his first girlfriend, yes. when he got some juice. Yes. <laughs> after me, after me, I come back over the airport. I tell mom, say, mom, listen to me now. I feel like I want to go visit a place, you know. But it's not urgent. I go to the place, Cassidy. I look, one heap of man, man, line up for use the thing. I say, sure. That time. <laughs> right? You know, at the airport, you have a whole heap. So, oh, I yeah. pass one next one. I'm going to look in. I'm looking in it. Practically empty. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to kick back. Waste me, waste my time because I know my usual quantity. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I'm going now and when I look, flight aboard. I said to Moe, where mommy? She going to look for you. I said, what kind of a fool business is that? <laughs> she no watch movie. You know, so anytime there's danger, you don't leave your position. You stay where you're there. Hold your position. Right. <laughs> you stay where you ain't going to look for me now. Go and look for me, flight up. But Mr. Michael, come on, we're going to like, board. You <laughs> must know where you're going. I guess I know. I'm going to have a passport there. So she first go and look for me. And oh then so she, go, she go to the bathroom where she think me did that. Then tell me, me, me leg up oh, from this a long Jesus. time. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Hold your position. That's right. That's sure. right. Um, the other part to this um well how do you feel how do you deal rather with stressful situations hmm well you know since i've experienced some form of stress i have grown to realize that the more you stress about one problem yeah the more your health deteriorates and the more the bigger the problem probably gets yeah or it's just still the same so with age with experience age comes experience and with experience comes beauty what? i need no validation all right what do you mean beauty so, mean with age yes in whose case so in mine <laughs> you see lady grace naturally beautiful <laughs> oh my god thank you gracie yes so, <clears throat> with the experience, also deal with stress. Well, one of the things we said is to try to alleviate, yeah? As best you can. The cause, the root of the stress. As we did allude, it's not easy as one, two, three, just pack and walk away. But you find a way to slowly ease out of the stress. Try talking about the problem first. Try and see if you can resolve the issue. Because there are some people who can talk to, and everybody, and everybody can talk to. But if you see where it's not helping, you fix your end, and you're expect, expecting the person to fix their end, and they're not, then find your way to ease. And just find things to do that will make you 
Smile and okay. be happy about I, yourself. I, I have a friend who said, boy, she can't stop talking her business because if she don't talk, she'll go mad. Yeah, I know people who say that. Right. They have to share with a, friend with a friend what's happening so they let it out. They need an outlet. True. There are people like that for true. Um, but, and, and then that could be therapy for her. That's her therapy, right? That's right. So everybody has, you know, their own therapeutic way of dealing with it. But, for example, talking about it and going back you know, in it, you know, I have found you, you, you know, to be not be helped and not be not helpful. Helping. You, 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 talk, no, I, I come and say, rude, this is happening. And, you know, Cassidy just nah here and him nah this and him nah come on my night time and yada, yada, yada. And I'm complaining about Omar. And then but you know, I go back and it's the same thing same repeatedly. Thing. Right. So I'm stressing but, but, all over but, but, again. But you know what happened? What? And it's the thing that women don't understand. You know, we as men, we go, when you know, so we come in normal and not quarrel with over certain things, we go get rid of some of the stress. <laughs> you know Likewise, mean? the women. Well, I mean, that's up to you. But mm-hmm. we got de stress. I hear you. So some of the times, you know, it's not cheat. We got cheat, you know. We went for therapy. Oh, we went for therapy. Yes. Ladies, <laughs> when is your therapy session? No. It's the therapy session. Ladies need therapy too, you know. Yeah, phone, the, phone the therapy is for quarrel. <laughs> and release the stress uh, that way. Right? Marcia in South Carolina. Hey, Marcia, I do believe the last time I heard that Dorian was heading to the Carolina. Or is there? Is there or is I there? I think so. Is it south or north? He was... I don't know if it's south or north in her on the, on the news. I think it was south. So please be safe. How are things there? Give us a little heads up as to what's happening. All right. We would appreciate that, my dear. And please be safe and be dry as you possibly can. All true, right? true, true, true. Um, you know. So um, how would you tell them to, to, to get rid of, to deal with the stress? Well, um, to be quite frank with you, I am a workaholic. Uh-huh. A so work helps you to... I don't know. Oh. But um, it kind of get my mind off a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And for me, like, do stuff. I remember when I when me was applying some grass on my yard and I fit in at the sit down, even with the sun boiling, and picking out some bad weeds and carrying it <laughs> always, always. I call me if I come inside. I'm just carrying it. You know, so when I do this, I not think about nothing else mm-hmm. but this. Because it, the weed them actually plot in the grass. Oh. So I feel actually I, 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 almost like having like a toothpick. Wow. Because I feel have like one knife and some of the time the root them gone down so far. I feel mm-hmm. like all up for water. With the hose at the road for to 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 pull it out. Yes. <laughs> so I tell the boy, my girl, when I do this, you know, I really, it take my mind off a lot of stuff. So this is my little, and, and going to the movies. Mm-hmm. I love that. Right? When I go to the movies and, and watch a movie, when I went back then, when I leave from, from Montego Bay on a Sunday and, and stop at the movies, you know? So it, it get your mind, I say, if I even for two hours, you know? The time is now 11 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. It's brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Nassal, where you get all your stage and lighting for your medium and small events. We'll soon forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Holy golly! <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again! 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM! Get of the showdown, social commentary, tune, no, what tune? No, no, I no ice cream sound. Good morning, teacher, long time, teacher. E-Edge, you 
in love with a love song. Oh, help me. Love songs are Let them touch your soul. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM. 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing. With Colin Anthony, shotgun to the frame. One of the things I've been done. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. DJ Prince just touched down in at the airport. A royal day to everyone. It's showing with the voice of DJ Prince. Your royalty of music selection, represented for my show, your show, Detour, every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight with mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. A long time now, me stop tech people problem for my head and help them solve you know because when me have my problem nobody know they fi help me me have to sit down and figure it out by myself me and god alone have to figure it out so me tap take people problem and try to solve it as alkaline say me and my money with salsa me not take up nobody crosses for my head and help them solve nothing depression is known as a killer that's true if somebody doesn't know how to handle being depressed you know because sometimes persons will say you know i feel depressed and they just do not do anything about it right but then again does the public know the difference between depressions its symptoms you know the disorder of it so basically depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest you know so basically for example if somebody lost a relative of of their you know lost somebody that they love they might go into depression if they don't get help because you know most persons do not know how to handle death you know death of a loved one what is associated with depression anxiety you know withdrawal symptoms etc you understand what i'm saying so feeling of sadness tearfulness you know emptiness you know sometimes they just feel hopeless you know like nothing can go right for you and i don't think it's wise to take on someone else stress in terms of taking on someone health stress or problem as in you're helping that person with, you know, financial needs, you know, etc. And then um, you have to look on the, some symptoms, you know. Trouble, when a person is depressed, they have trouble thinking, you know. 
concentrating, making righteous decisions and remembering things, you know. And some major causes of depression could be biological differences, brain chemistry, hormones, you know, or they can inherit it, you know. But you see, in the Jamaica culture, we don't get help from the helping profession. We believe like, okay, we can handle any situation. Because most of us hate hospitals. Most of us hate spending money on our health. Because what? Everything we run to, bush, we do this, not saying that, hey, it's not of use or they can't be used, but get the proper diagnosis and treatment. Because many persons who are depressed Sometimes they might take it out on others, which can result or may result in death, you know, withdrawal, be withdrawal, become withdrawal, you know, all of those stuff. Real talk. Yep. You know, um, what she was saying, and I was looking at it coincidentally um, at the same time, I guess she has been doing some, some proper res- research. Yeah in terms of the causes of biological differences, um, brain chemistry, hormones, uh, yes, inherent, in, in inherent traits, right? And um, you see the, 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 the traits, mm-hmm. and remember at one point we had a show and I was saying that we need to know some of the background of our partners and you know whether or not right. you, know, you want to get involved in that yeah. that that genetics yeah now listen to this in eritrea depression is more common in people whose blood relatives also have this condition wow researchers are trying to find genes that may be involved in causing depression mm. so you know it's important it's called profiling wow. right you, you, you may have to profile a lover mm-hmm. you know See certain true. things and know certain things about them, true, and, and true, if true. if you want, you, you, some you, of us don't do that. Yeah, the traits of that individual yeah. to be a part of of yours is just like with animals, uh, with, with, with thoroughbreds. Mm-hmm. But the, you have to know some boy, yeah, breed the right type of um horses Horse. together. Yeah, right, and, and and it's important. But there's something that I'd like for you to to read in terms of um, depression, which is the part that speaks about, uh, let me find it. Dealing with depression, the, more messages, Cassidy? The, 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 the risk factors, because you had asked a question earlier and I guess we both are wrong. Oh yeah, really? Yes, 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 we both got zero. Risk factors. Depression often begins in the teens, 20s or 30s. And we're talking about kids. Mm. It started, so. I asked if it could happen with with kids, kids. right. But it can happen at any age. More women than men are diagnosed with depression. Where? No, but there's a reason. Okay. But this may be due in part because women are more likely to seek seek treatment. Right. Factors that seem to increase the risk or developing or triggering depression include certain personality traits, Hmm. such as low self-esteem and being too dependent, self-critical or pessimistic. right? It's no... Let me pause for one second. It's no wonder... Is it pessimistic people? You know what, Neronio? No, true, true, true. I don't. It's like they sap something in a me. We yeah. can't deal with a person who all them do is it's just tell us that something negative. can't work on. Yes. You know, every time you want, you, you want to try have something. Bad to say all the time. Yeah, yes. they say that can't work. They, they can never give you a reason why oh something can go goodness, go right. Man. Real Ooh. talk. Oh boy. Traumatic, number two, is traumatic or stressful events, such as physical or sexual abuse. Mm, mm, mm. So a person who gets a lot of abuse physically and sexually, with a lot or a little bit, but it can affect them. Affect, yes, yes. yes. 
um, the, the death or loss of a loved one, a difficult relationship, or financial problems. And trust me, these three are really, really serious issues for true. Because when somebody lose someone who probably wasn't even their, their, their lifeline, you know, the person was there like their lifeline and they lost out. It's difficult to cope. It's very, very difficult to cope. And we know persons who have gone through it, right? Um, a difficult relationship. A difficult relationship. Persons invest their life in, in making a relationship work. They invest money in making a relationship work. And to see it actually fail. I mean, I'm talking about no pion pion investment. I'm talking about really, really invest a whole lot of time and money, energy in fixing and building something you think would have lasted and it just went crashing. Or financial problems. Now imagine you have your money at the bank and you put this woman's name in there for, as, as, as a, a joint ownership. Or this man in there because he's coming and look like him really with you and he's going to marry you and we're going to have a lovely home and live happily ever after. <laughs> Only if you find out, say the man or the woman, read your bank account of every cent. I mean, I mean, no pure, pure bank account neither. Real, <laughs> real good up, good up bank account. The, that can the cost. The type of bank, bank account where you like. Yes. <laughs> can cause anybody remember me tell you to go into some serious state of depression yes just plunge zoom mm. <laughs> you mm. know mm. next one blood relatives with a history of depression bipolar disorder the one i mean i like i know persons who are oriented like that they have bipolar disorder you know but sometimes master, you know sometimes you make me feel like i'm tripolar you you yes. are Yes, because when they say, oh, you're talking to Hewell, you're talking to Hewell now. Like, you don't even try, I know he's bi. I know that. Me what? Bro. So, love. No, I'll work with try, but me not bi. Bro. I'm solo. I'm, I'm solo polar. Yeah, yeah, you're solo. Yeah, right? yeah, no, but. <laughs> Alcoholism or suicide. Mm, they take on to drinking a lot. Yes. Just keep on drinking. And guess what? I learned from a friend. You will drink your sorrows away tonight. And you think you'll feel like the problem is gone. But by the time the alcohol will wear up, and you'll get up back. Grab an try and say the problem is right there. Try grab another you. bottle. First thing you face when you come back sober. All right? Um, where are we with the next? One, all right. Blood relatives with a history of depression, bipolar disorder, or alcoholism. Okay, um, so you have family members who have them genes, them trees. Yes, there. yes, yes, when yes. I, when yes, I couldn't yes. give one difference, it's a tree. You, you know, one you, you know, one of the other one that I'm wondering if if it's a trait, if there's um, and and we we'll probably need to uh, have a doctor come in if if schizophrenia um is a is is a is a family trait. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. The next one says, being lesbian. Oh, my. So they are depressed too. Gay. Bisexual or transgender. Them bipolar. Or having variations in the development of genital organs that aren't clearly male or female. Intersex. In an unsupportive situation. Wow. Now, imagine being born daddy road with a penis and a vagina. People know what's that. You, you, you he cannot imagine it. No, I was just. He no, no, no. Just, I, I he was gave just, me the straightest face just the, now. The straight face was because I was thinking, not imagining it, but, but thinking of if you have them both, you wouldn't need anyone. You would have any stress. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have a no, problem. But you believe me that there are people who probably are hermaphrodites and they're stressed. There are men, sad to say, on, I don't know how, them, how they, they develop that way, but there are men who outside of them look like males and they feel like a female on the inside. That is a stressful situation. No, and to be able to... I don't understand yes, that Yes, it happens. I did a course 
call human sexuality. No, I've heard... Hold on, hold on. No, no. I didn't say it doesn't happen. I said I don't understand. Yeah, because they have more estrogen than testosterone. So it gives them the female... The female hormones make them feel these... But, but, but that's not a hermaphrodite. Mm-mm. That's that's that's. No, man, I was I was making reference to the, to, to two situations. So do, I you, do you do you do you believe? Do you believe in evolution? I'm not sure if I do. I don't know what to believe. Sometimes I believe in the Bible. So I don't think that's evolution. No, no, no. Believing in the Bible is believing that there was a um, in the beginning. That's that in the yes. beginning um, situation, but it has nothing to do with a million years versus six thousand years. Be, be, because, because if if, if, from if Earth, all right, we evolved from the monkeys. We we, we are all primates, all right? But mm-hmm. but but some aspect could be true based on maybe the environmental condition and and the need to survive. You would evolve, mm-hmm. right? Survival more but, chips in. Yes, but and maybe this is for. Yes. This is a, another topic. But if you feel like a male on the inside when you have a female body, mm-hmm. but are, and vice versa, yes. could it be an evolution process taking place slowly but surely until... So you're saying more and more people will, will be coming that way? Will be evolving. Yeah. You're a scientist. The first a preacher, no a scientist. Who's gonna be next? I think. <laughs> <laughs> a philosopher. I just think. Because remember, you know, if you look on the trends, are certain trends now. Before we would have said like and like, a positive and a positive mm-hmm. cannot work, and a negative and a negative cannot work. Mm-hmm. But obviously they are finding ways of making it work. Yeah. In but but, but I guess there are exceptions in, to every rule. In no? that sector. But it is becoming more prevalent, you think? Okay. Hmm. So consider So how would we explain evolution? So you so, so the, the fact that more and so, more men tend to be drawing to each other or are we discovering more and more of them. Use the word discover. Yes. Um could that also be an an uh it could evolutionary be. process it could be and more and more women seemingly liking each other and it, drawn to each other it could be feeling for another female it could be and um bear in mind in situations like that and how we are how we are biologically made you must have in order for survival and um proc- procreation mm-hmm. there must be two opposites yeah, right now if likes and likes are joined together you may in another 250 years mm. finding likes producing reproducing oh, Lord. because we are supposed to be survivors environmental mm-hmm. environmentally survive mm-hmm. you wow. could burn down a forest and it will find a way to mm. grow yeah true Donald says, if you feel like a woman when you're a man and vice versa, that's just pure evil. And the devil was born into you. And that's the Bible talking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what we were taught to believe. Yeah. But I, am, I think. So here we go again with risk factors to depression. History of other mental dis- health disorders such as anxiety disorder, eating disorder- disorders, and post-traumatic distress, post-traumatic stress disorder. Abuse of alcohol or recreational drugs is another risk factor. Yeah, serious or chronic illness, including cancer, stroke, chronic pain, or heart disease. Certain medications, such as some high blood pressure medications or sleeping pills. So you talk to your doctor before stopping any medication. So, wow. And I think we stopped there. Mm-hmm. Hey. Wow. Mr. Wow. Yes. Mr. Asthma, take me. Hope so.
purse, me have an experience, something like that. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? I tell it me there. You're, invo- you're evolving. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was. What happened to him, I guess, is an evolution. You know what happened to me? Uh-huh. Simple thing, you know. I was cleaning up the kitchen, bring out a rag that was soaked in bleach. Mm hmm. Right, for wipe off the, the, um, the dining table. I'm saying to mom, say, mom, you know, someone go use the bathroom. I'm saying, my system will work. I mean, I just don't eat, eat my breakfast, wash up, and then same time, the processing plants start work. Mm-hmm. And I was there, being me, processing. <laughs> <laughs> right? <Evolving. laughs> and yes. me just start, me, me, first my throat just start getting dry. Whoa. And it just start creep up till I can I can inhale, but I was having difficulty exhaling. Wow. And then I'm like, what is what happened? You know what's the bleach? Oh my goodness. So the f- it dip on my hand. Yeah. And you know, you inhale something and you're not realizing. And that alone, bam. And I don't have an emergency asthma pump on them so they may have that because it's been many 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 years mm-hmm. oh, wow. right and luckily my daughter have one mm-hmm. and i eat me a few use wow. simple thing but such it is right but i mean regarding stress there are so many things are or, or, or depression because because they said um stress can lead into depression right mm-hmm. I, I read that now and I also said that before you read that tonight. You are a genius. Thank you. <laughs> and there's a difference between a genius. <laughs> no, no, I was. It was a good thing, but I won't bother say it then because you're, <laughs> you're laughing. No, I'm listening. Knowing you, knowing that road, is a difference between a genius and a genius. Yes. See, I know you too right. so well. <laughs> Jesus. And you're a genius. Thank you. Occasionally, <laughs> you know, but um, who say we weren't before, before too? I'm not sure what that means. Let's see what Grace is well, saying. Well, I guess that's what Grace is saying. But um, Donald has a point. Yes, he does. Right? Because if you believe in solely um, creation in the beginning, right, 6,000 years, then you would have merit to uh, or, or to have the belief that some things or you'd want to go to the the side that says it is evil right i'm not looking at that part because i don't think in my opinion it's not is i would use the word evil right being different or having a different feeling towards something it doesn't mean that it is a wrong what what i think is happening now presently we're using laws and power right and trying to control everything that's happening we mm-hmm. talk about eavesdropping the biggest eavesdropper right now is a technology we have in our hand <laughs> right oh, yeah. it has everything about you that you don't even have about yourself mm-hmm. so when we talk about how you try to control and manipulate trying to tell a child that okay it is tell a child it is okay to feel like you're something else that's manipulative mm-hmm. right trying to say okay you have a right to feel this way that's manipulative hmm. you have to sit and if you look at how that they talk about um finding archaeology and findings of um rem- remains of past men and how we would have evolved and from walking and becoming upright it is a high possibility it's just that we are now upright Mm-hmm. And if you if you were to say so come we now go backward then mm-hmm. walk with and looking up in the sky, sky. since it's an evo- it's an evolutionary thing how come the apes and the uh, uh, the, the apes and the monkeys are not evolving right we, we we can we can argue along that point because I personally don't believe that man um, is from from that but we may have certain biological um likes the head formation blah blah yada yada mm-hmm. but there are so many differences how many apes what were the apes that made black and what were the apes that made white mm. you know why do whites call us monkey right because because monkeys are brown 
is that the reason? Mm -hmm. But then if you look on the genetical and, and how we are now, who have more hairy skin? Mm -hmm. uh, look good at, at, at a Caucasian. Mm -hmm. Who is closer? And whose hair is closer to the, to the monkey's hair? Right. So, you know, you, you have to look on the thing in, in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in, in a holistic sense. Frogs... Frogs, I think, have some evolution thing with, with how they can, um, something about with biology and frogs and, and, and mating and blah, blah, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. um, the hermaphrodite in animals, stuff like that. You ever wondered why, why, why you're finding now that animals are crossbreeding, dogs are wanting to meet with chickens? Right? That those things aren't, aren't what we would say as natural, but maybe for evolution basis. Maybe there's something coming that there must be some kind of um, mix to survive, maybe global warming that we as man are creating. So they would have sensed that what we are called say, dumb animals and because we can't speak their lang language again, so we call them dumb. Mm -hmm. So because we don't understand, we see, see them as dumb. It's just like back in the days when um, they, 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 what them name, them people that were come and come take over people land and call them, call them primi primitive and savage. Mm. But the demonstration by these quote, 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 unquote, civil people were more savage, savage than, th yeah. th th than the, the people who were within the backward, we don't know what to call it. So age. the Ice Age are, 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 are what they want to call the Arawaks. Mm. The behavior mm -hmm. was more savage. Kill, killing off people and all them something and, and, and bringing diseases and stuff like that that, that, they, that their body was not used to and that's how a lot of, a lot, a lot of even Africans were killed because they yeah. start giving them certain things to eat where yeah. we just never make for them, them sitting there right mm -hmm. so you know it's, it's something to explore right what, well, what, what, what really is happening right in the minds of and the, the, the reaction yeah. of people what, yeah, what, what, what is happening in terms of why are these attractions between animals that are, not, that are totally not even from the same um, makeup? Is it maybe because man has interfered with crossbreeding and trying to build a pure breed of this and a pure breed of that and try to take some of that out of this and take some of that? So, so, so that dog did have like a fall in him. It is, it is in man's nature to explore and experiment too much. all that they have around them. Too much. All the resources. Too yeah. much, right? As again, to allow things to just be. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to we figure out... We really want to mess up everything pretty much. <laughs> well, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I agree. Let's what Donald Donald's says, saying. Why it came about because of sin. The slave Bible that we re read or read still shows us about the evil of this world. White is because of sin. All right? Well, um, I, I'd like to, to, for Donald to expound on that. Because... Well, let's see what it says on the text line. Um, all right. No, no, no. no. Did you, um, what, what Grace was saying and who said we weren't before, I didn't get that part, what she was saying. Oh, I guess she was saying a bit of something that I said. Mm -hmm. You know, it's now 11.30, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. So forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea Saturdays right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. Digital tea. Our brain. Look, huh? have or are you seeking a place to rent seeking employment or have a job vacancy are you 
selling a car or having a garage sale then come see us let's styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time contact us at 8762869216 or 4395160 advertising style advertise with styles remember styles fm on social media view us on youtube at styles fm radio follow us on instagram at styles fm like us on twitter at styles fm 961 become a fan on facebook styles fm 96.1 Native Audio Stage and Lighting now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events whether it's a stage show concert drama play wedding street party or club setting you name it we'll bring it to life call us at 8715212 or 8446531 Native Audio Stage and Lighting a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, we are dissecting so and many putting back together simulations. Yeah. And um, we're now on the final half hour of the show. Yep. And we have messages and stuff coming in. And let's see what our friend Donald is saying. The first civilization was totally black. Sin brought about the change. The changing of the languages and all that came about because we sin against God. That when them that like when them that build a temple, and yeah. and there was I some little argument and them sitting there and then man just said, "Why me? Well, I wanna go here, man. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> no, 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 no one attacks it. Oh boy. Hmm. Mankind. Man and Thinking kind. that we know. C CG it says all. CG says a mankind, a man and kind. Yeah. In every sense of the word. All right, so um, we are pretty much wrapping up. Yeah, we, we need to wrap up our Rocks Pop ideas for tonight, idea for tonight. Yeah. And of course, we do hope and trust that if you're out there and you do feel any form of depression coming on, any form of stress coming on, seek help for God's sake, for the love of God and your love of yourself. Seek help and see how best you can rid yourself of whatever it is that is causing the situation. And live a lovely, happy little life. It won't be perfect, but live happy. Don't just exist. Live. And you can't live when you're under stress. And you can't live if you're depressed. Real talk, all right? We have a caller online. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. I'm on depression. Hello? Donald. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, this sounds like Donald. Yeah, man. How are you doing, brother? I, I am doing well, you know. I am enjoying your program. Oh, great. I, yeah, I am listening to the depressive part of it. Yes. In terms of depression. Mm -hmm. And um, listening again to the whole aspect of God and the sinning and of all of them things. Why we have black and we have white and we have apes and all of them things. Yes. Right? But in terms of depression, is it? Yes. I think it is something that is that was born in people mm -hmm. you think so i know that the world yeah man I, I that is my belief yes i i, I know the world is a stressful world mm -hmm. right and i have i have been through my 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 series of stressful situations mm -hmm. remember now my kidneys are gone for seven and a half years and I have to go on a dialysis machine twice per week. Yeah, the, that expensive. in itself will bring about a certain amount of depression. Yeah, and, and expense. Mm. Uh, right. But I have overcome all of that to just know that it is because of our awesome God mm -hmm. why certain things happen to mankind and because of sin. So most of us and most of the things that are going on with us it is because we do not, uh, we walk away from the true belief of God in itself. Mm -hmm. You understand? So sin brings about a whole lot of things, man. You understand? But I will say to the people that are depressed, and you're saying that they need help, there is a certain type of depression that not even help can help it. Yeah? Yeah. 
I can't tell you. And most of these counselors are psychics or I'm just not your people business. You understand? Mm. They are not there to even get you better. Some of them just there to make some whole heap of money off of you. Telling you that you're depressed and them can help you out of this and them can help you out of that. Like medicine. Mm. You understand? Yeah. But oh, yeah. when you look at it, if you give yourself the chance to say, all of this is happening because of this. Mm. Then your 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 whole depressive state can go away. Yeah, and, and that is just my belief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I am depressed, but I am not depressed to the point where I will take my own life. Right. I am not depressed to the point where I would even hurt somebody else. And you are just depressed with the whole condition of where the world is and what it is. But there, there are and people who are stronger than some. Some are stronger than some. Yeah. And that is true. It depends on the nature uh, of the person. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah, because some people physically stronger than some. Mm -hmm. And psychologically and emotionally. And psychologically and emotionally too. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think anything bothers me that much. And then you yeah, have yeah. persons now who, when one problem, something is going wrong, they mm -hmm. find a million and one other things that will be affected by this one problem so it becomes more more of a burden so they're, they're, the marriage broke up but then instead of focusing on how i can even move along and grow past this 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 stage in my life they start thinking about what people will be saying and what I people will be thinking where, where marriage is concerned if your marriage break up go find our next plan a path yeah <laughs> your girlfriend left let us run you'll get to our next one real quick yeah and just make sure that all of them thing that you understand them them lose feelings that because my my girlfriend left me when i got sick yeah i just find another girl real quick yeah yeah huh mm. yeah i left my wife and i just find another girl real quick yeah that's some of the reasonings that you have to put behind a lot of things if you mm -hmm. have to sit down and mop and sit down and wonder why it happened and all of them things you have to get yourself in a depressive state yeah sure. yeah mm -hmm. but you just quickly move on because that is one of the quickest ways to get yourself out of depression and, and you don't think that rebounding is not good though re, re what rebounding when you just rebounding yes that is finding somebody real quick yes no nah, because here is what you find somebody real quick you know all of them pumped up emotions in you right all of them emotions it's released you find somebody you find somebody immediately to start worse if that person is real good mm -hmm. you find say uh, all of the the, the the craziness that was in you start subsiding as simple as that yeah, but yeah, could, okay. couldn't that also be like a putting a bandaid on a cut? No. Nah, that needs stitching. I, I tell you something, too. Remember, you know, the world is made up of different, different types of people. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people that God never make no special body for no special body. Mm -hmm. yeah, and God Someone make people who are compatible but, together. Ahead. So once you're compatible together, yes. you're good to go. So you just have to find somebody real quick that you're compatible, compatible with. with. Yeah, man. And then you're good. Real talk. Okay, sir. Yeah, man. Big up. Thank you, Donald. Yeah. Lovely cool. hearing from him every single time, can I tell you? Mm -hmm. All right. And we have Marcia also texting in. Alicia also sending in something there. All right. Um... Done all about hard, I swear. <laughs> That's what Marcia in South Carolina thinks. <laughs> Grace. Done all solid, you know. Done all is very solid as, a, solid as a rock, I tell you. And on many Grace, grounds. Grace is asking, um, who said we weren't both male and female? Hmm. Who says we weren't both male and female? So, so, so then, if that's the case, is it okay, gentlemen, when I a think, female. I, I think um, when a child. When you are in the just in its developing stage, Safe, yeah, they are both. That's what doctors would say. Oh wow! So so who says then? Why is it then that if that could be a line of reasoning, why when a woman acts strong and firm and own will 
and as such of, of a go-getter, there are men who just really can't cope with her because for them, she's that's trying different. to wear the pants. No, 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 no. No, that's if different. If we were both male and female, some other male jeans still in the R. No, that's not, that has nothing to do with... Um, Couldn't it be her, argued no, that no, no, there no. are still... No, All right, let me tell you why I wouldn't want you to go that route. Because I'll probably use it against you in another... Con- in another and I'm going to use it against in, you too, right? right? The reason... <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the reason being, if she's an independent woman, a go-getter, mm-hmm. right? It, what you're saying would suggest that she has male hormones... Right? No, no, and, no, no, and, I'm and, not saying and, that. And, 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 and a man, I'm not well, well, saying that. And, no, and, and a man, what and I'm a man who laid no, back I has say, female, no, is, is no, effeminate. I did not allude right. to any so, of that. But I, I am saying you're not going to twist my statement, brother. <laughs> uh-uh. I'm saying why is it? It's a question, really. I'm not saying that's that she is, um, because she um, is firm and whatever she mm, has. She has male no, no, I didn't, I'm not saying that. I'm yeah. saying why when a woman is firm and she for example might be even stubborn and own will make her own makes her own decisions and you know is accustomed to doing things her way why is it that men would think that this particular woman wants to wear the pants in the relationship she's too firm she's too strong why if that's an argument why can't we look at it to say you know what we possibly were both male and female so She's grown, she's grown into a very nice, voluptuous, sexy woman. But somewhere there, there could be some male in her. Who wouldn't Why? want her? <laughs> I don't mean it like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> We're moving along. So, um, who's next on the text line there? Um, all right, Alicia is answering a question that we, she asked earlier. All right, yes, Alicia. No, Alicia is telling you thank Yeah, she's you. responding to my statement right. earlier. All right, thanks, Alicia. Welcome you, welcome you, welcome too. All right. Um, have we got an article here? Yes, um, something from Love Punk you would want to read so, really quick. So, guys, I like thanks it. for sharing in this Vox Pop that took us to different places but c- came back to the same point. Yeah. All right, until next time we do Vox Pop, keep it locked. Now we go to our Love Panky article for tonight. And this topic <laughs> says, the 25 surprising secrets we keep from our partners. Whether we're depressed or not, but we keep these 25 things. Um, surprised. Well, surprisingly, we keep them from our partners. Here we go. First one. Although honesty is the basis of a lasting relationship, huh. there are just some things that are hard to admit and better left unsaid. Not chatty, chatty. Hmm. Not tell everything. Yeah. It is said that being honest about everything with your partner can make relationships better and last longer. Are you? Whoever said that must be hiding a whole graveyard of skeletons in their closet. (laughs) That's funny. Why do we keep secrets from our significant other? Because they're significant. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) And you don't want them to become insignificant. Or insignificant, rather. Why do we keep secrets from our our significant other? Saying, if a person really loved you, They'd accept you for the things you did. Eh? It's not that reassuring. We want to be loved the way we are right now. Not because of our past and the things we've done. The secrets we keep are those that we think could damage our relationships. Or keep us open to judgment that we aren't prepared for. Real talk. Mm. Alicia said amen. (laughs) (laughs) Our insecurities are, believe yourself, Hmm. where where are we? It's soon come up. Okay. Our insecurities and beliefs keep us from revealing some of the things that we're ashamed of. Knowing that most people don't react well to some secrets can make us think twice about telling people about it. Sometimes we hear people reacting negatively to other people's circumstances. If we are experiencing the same things, 
Our observations tell us that revealing the same secrets can make us vulnerable to that type of judgment as well. Yep. Can a secret stay secret? Most secrets don't stay secret for very long, especially if someone else knows about it. Oh, true, true, true. The problem occurs when those secrets get out and the person on the receiving end hasn't had time to process said information. It's true that you need to be open about everything in order to move forward in your relationships. But some people need more time to process the information than they want to reveal. <laughs> that they want to reveal, sorry. Apart from that, your partner needs to be ready to accept the things that you want to reveal to them. You can't just tell someone about your mental disorder on the first date. No, 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 I'm one or then. <laughs> tell me, please. Mm -mm, I want to know. I want to know then, not later. No, mm. not You're not gonna. All right, so, who? This is messing me up. Some pop up business, don't it? Yes, yeah. keep popping up. Hmm. Hmm. Can a secret stay a secret? All right. Oh, da -dum -dum -dum. Okay, so we continue. You need to get to know your partner better and see if they are the type of person who won't judge you on the for the first for the things that you have no control over. Look here. Tell the man straight up of your mental disorder straight up. Let him decide if he wants to continue on the date and not just to continue to, to second and third base and then he, drop, then, he, then he dumps you after. No. Let the man know. Let the woman know that you're kind of cuckoo upstairs. <laughs> and you go and come. <clears throat> so the person can decide. Don't treat the man pretend like you're, you're, you're fully there when you know say. You chip off some of the time. Don't do that. That's not nice. Hmm. Independent run guy, you know. Hmm? No, stick around. You need to get to know your partner. All right? And we said that one. You can't control how they will react. But you can at least build enough trust to be comfortable about telling them your secrets eventually. You never tell something to see him, I don't know. Who that? Karen. <laughs> you didn't tell her you had a, uh, your tripolar. <laughs> never, never tell it's her that. It's true. Never know at the time. You never know at the time either. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's true that you need to be open. <clears throat> hmm. It's true that you need to be open about everything in order to move forward in a relationship. All right, we read that part already. You need to get to know your partner better. Got that part too. What are the secrets we keep? Some secrets are trivial and can be revealed in due time. Some, however, are more serious and requires a significant amount of trust between two people before they can be divulged. The list below contains some of the most common secrets we keep. Some of them are very important in keeping your relationship stable, <laughs> while others are just little things that we want to keep to ourselves. Number one, the number of people you've slept with. Uh -uh. Women are known to shave a few points off of that number, while men mm -hmm, are more likely to add to it. Nah. As much as we, actually, Cassidy, I know you say no. We're not add, but as on, much on, as on, 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 we take her off a show. <coughs> Cass, every woman we say they're not, they're they, they, they not, they not reach five. As much <laughs> as we like to admit it to our partners, it's still a touchy subject that can make or break a relationship. Two psychological disorders. You're when the third. People, you're the third person. Yeah, I, you're the third person. I, I, I've been. With. <laughs> when people, <clears throat> when people jokingly say you're crazy, all you can do is smile and sip on your cup of drink. Some please. Oh, your cup of coffee. <laughs> That's you. Although this is something that should be discussed earlier in the relationship, the stigma on having a diagnosed mental disorder still keeps people from admitting the truth. No one, nobody should be said, they're not the mad when they're mad. I'm sorry. Or mentally challenged. Well, we can do it and, in Jamaica and get away with it. 
Yeah. Why am I going to donate some head no good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Declare. <laughs> Declare. <laughs> Once I remember telling a friend I was crazy. And I just meant, you know, the clear crazy that I'm talking about. Yes. Right? And fun crazy. And the person did not know what I meant. I said, what do you mean by crazy? <laughs> 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 I found it funny. So I had to explain. I said, oh, okay. It's a mad sick head no good. <laughs> <laughs> Past relationships with their friends. The girl code and guy code doesn't apply if we really, really like the person. It should, but it won't. So most people just work very hard to deny, lie, and cover up these past tra- trysts. Hmm, interesting. Four, gross habits we can't stop doing. Oh, hmm. you know what those are. Picking on an ingrown nail. Hmm. Squeezing a black head. What's wrong with that? It's got to get out. Drinking out of the milk carton. Ooh. The list goes on, but it's so hard to stop. I bite my lip. You bite your lip. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bite, mm-hmm. Biting my lip. It's just um, one of those idiosyncrasies I find myself. You just even put some on where it's a single Bible. <laughs> I can't take <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Oh, boy. That's a good one. Number five. Or real insecurities. Appearances and career accomplishments are the usual suspects when it comes to insecurities. But some can go deeper, like questioning one's self-worth or their ability to keep a relationship. Hmm. Six, the books we read. Why do you think the paperback romance novel genre is still earning billions each year when you don't hear that much about it? <laughs> Listen. That, 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 yes, that book biz, business there uh-huh. as something where men have to be very, 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 very cognizant about when women think are Think like a man, act when, like a lady. When women are read a whole novel, them try if they, them expect that type of relationship. Romance, of course, right? of and, course. And, and when I watch Lifetime movies, which are novels too, I expect. But I'm not a Lifetime man. All Mark and Lifetime movies, nice. Yeah, but we're, we're not them type of man there. That's the type we want. Then, not for going to Hallmark. <laughs> oh boy. Number seven, how we really feel about the things they like. Hmm. Yes, that shirt looks so cool. I love football. This leather recliner in your basement is the middle of summer, is so in the middle of summer, is so comfy. Lies, lies, lies. <laughs> me now send me love football to please him. I'm sorry. I ain't doing that. <laughs> and this shirt looks good. If it don't look good, it doesn't look good. I'm going to say euphemistically though. Um, I'm not sure if that shirt really going well with your complexion. <laughs> oh, I don't think it fits the pants. You know what that is? Or yeah, I'm hypocrite. not lying. Yeah, no, hypocrite. I'm not. Hypocrite. I'm telling you mildly. <laughs> I- I'm not being strong. Fair enough. <laughs> and um, the occasion we are going on, um, I nah, don't, I don't, yeah. Not that shirt. You have a nicer one can wear, man. So, yeah, that's me, but I'm going to like, oh, my God, your shirt is so nice. No, black, like, you know, my am going to start saying, oh, my God, your shirts are nice. Even if I don't know the price, because I see that you're, mm, mm. <laughs> 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 Number... Eight. At least. Family at, problems. At least you learned. Yeah, 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 I've learned. Yeah, man, I've learned the hard <laughs> way, yeah? Eight says, family problems. We've lived with our family since the day we were born. We know how it feels. So we're not sure whether or not a significant other will want to join on. Mm, mm, mm. Join in on the crazy. I love crazy. I love fun crazy. Get, don't get me wrong. I love fun crazy. Not mad. Sick. Head, no not good. good. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. What are friends really like? We love them to death, mm. but we could kill them sometimes. Some of the things they do are not fit for public consumption. Let's let alone your partners. Can mm. can make all your friends know who you're dealing with. Who you're dealing with? Yeah, some too. women they tell. I mean, they tell a friend every detail. How he is in the bedroom. 
From what him didn't do? Oh, please. I could never be like that. No, man. First of all, something to talk about, man. Jesus. You know, See, you know, spare me the details. So, so, you mean, if you tell your friend if you man a top performer, then you're going to sample. Next thing you're going to take what... Oh, you no, mean, no, 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 no. Uh -uh. You mean? Uh -uh. You're, too, you're too mean, my girl. What's wrong with being selfish? So, number 10. Watch we're like around our friends. I got that one already. No, no, no. What we're like around our friends. Whenever you are with your soul, you tend to transform into a modern version of Dr. Jekyll, don't you? Hmm. Mr. and Miss Hyde <laughs> is reserved for friends only. Hmm. 11. The depth of our relationship with our pets. I ain't got that, af no, that I, I, I ain't got that affection for a pet right now. Sorry. It's hard to let go. Let go your <clears throat> pet. Let your SO. Huh. Yo, me no online. Up so. You see the other sitting there we have on the block? Yes. You could have seen the dog the dog the, the dog here them pony. Oh God. Hmm. You whole like back of the sitting with the woman have on full of dog here. Um, it's hard to let your SO know that you're planning on saving the cat before them in case of a raging fire, <laughs> significant other. Oh no. If he ever say if I ever see a pet over me. Ha! Oh boy. Not good. Lisa saving dog first. What our bedrooms really look like? Whether you're you've got O C P D or you're a slob. Admitting that your bedroom doesn't look normal can still be very difficult. They're going to see eventually. True. How often we've slept with people on the first date? <clears throat> I don't usually do this on the first date. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> 40. Oy, oy. When we want to get married, honestly, any date that's available in June is good for most of us women. For men, it's more a question of if they want to marry <laughs> yes that's true 15 we look like what we look like when we sleep oh my mm, those mm, itchy mm. lacy thing thinges that women wear every night just bought it this morning this spotless face besides yours it's usually slathered <clears throat> it's usually slathered that book, your bedroom, oh Lord, stop it. Does it, oh, hmm. This spotless face beside yours, it's usually sl sl slathered <laughs> with Miracle. junk, serum, cream, and the cherry on top. <laughs> 16, our blocked contacts list. If they ever saw it, there will be so many questions. There will be so many questions. So many questions that we don't have half the answer is two. Yeah, and the, the answers, 17th but they can't and reveal last them. thing that are secrets pretty much. We what we like that we're gonna read tonight. What we looked like in high school. <laughs> no matter how good we looked or how bad. <laughs> it was in high school. It's like your mom showing you how hot she looked wearing hot pink leg warmers and shoulder pads in her sweaters. And of course, we take a break. We're gonna stop there, not a break. Yes, a, a break for the night. Oh. <laughs> and of course, next time we see you, we share the other um, things yep. that <clears throat> are secrets, pretty much in relationships that we wanna keep from our partners. All right, it's now 12 o'clock, guys, and we've come to the end of Real Talk. Good night, Cheryl. We wanna thank all our friends who were locked in. Good night to you too, my darling. And all those who called in, all those who sent in their messages, and all those who texted us, we want to thank you on behalf of our engineer, our resident, welcome home, resident.